Hey guys, I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. And today, we're gonna make Thanksgiving Day cocktails, and to help me is my best friend, Alyssa. Hi guys, I'm ready for the party, I'm ready to fill this glass with some amazing Thanksgiving ness. Ness! <laughs> Swan glass. No one will get that but us. <laughs> All right, Jackie, what are we making today? Today, we're going to make caramel apple cider mimosas. Oh, my. And cranberry mimosas. This is great. I feel tipsy already. I know! <laughs> Hashtag housewifey. So, um, I just collected a nice little arrangement of salted caramel. Mm. This is going to be delicious mm. on the rim of our glasses. Oh. Yes. Perfect, right? So, we have this. We have a lime. Cranberry juice, some honey crisp apple cider from Trader Joe's, which she tells me is amazing. It's amazing. Cool, great, I believe you. And some root champagne or sparkling wine because everything. It's not we're... from champagne. So it's not from champagne. We don't want to get sued or anything. So no, no stuffing. Don't sue us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which one do you want to make first? Let's do the cranberry one first. Let's okay. go with that. Cool. The cranberry one is very simple. All we're going to do is. Grab a glass. Okay. Oh, there you go. my glass. Okay. First of all, we really do need to just pop this root because oh. that is the main ingredient. Well, let's get cracking. Are you good at this? <laughs> Sometimes. Have you broken things? Oh, yes. Quite a few things in my oh. lifetime. <laughs> so let's just hope that this doesn't like bounce off the cabinets and into my head later because that's not how I want this episode to go. Well, the good news is I'm here, so I can take you to the emergency room. Thank you! That's what friends are for. So, if you haven't done this before, I like to use a towel for that reason alone, because I don't want to die opening... Not by yourself, you don't. Not by yourself. Like, how awful someone finds you with a bottle After of champagne... After Thanksgiving. ...all over yourself. You're just dead in the kitchen. Right. <laughs> so maybe I'll start... This went morbid so bad. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Oh, freaking A. I'm gonna step up. Yeah. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Get back in. Get back in here. Ta-da! We made such a nice okay. change. All right. And three, two, two, one. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. We have uncorked that bottle, and it's been chilled. It's been chilled. Key to any good drink. Very, very true. First. We're going to take, um, I got real cranberry juice, it's 100% cranberry that juice. sweetened stuff. You can use no the sweetened syrup. stuff if you like. If you want to be like healthy with your cocktail, like we're going to kind of be today, <laughs> you're going to use If those two words stuff. could go in a sentence, this is what you want. This is what you want. All right, so how much do so, you here? I'm going to just pour that much. So that's about a, a wee bit. A you wee bit. This? It's probably the size of a shot, maybe a little less than a shot, okay. or two mm -hmm. tablespoons. The squeeze of lime, I feel like a mixologist. Oh, look. I not really get it squeezing lime. <laughs> <laughs> so well, the floor is... It's really limey. It's going to be uh, <laughs> squeaky clean. Okay. okay. I've got my now, cranberry, my lime. Now what? So if you made a mimosa before with orange mm -hmm. juice and champagne, they like to flood over really quickly. Uh -huh. So the key to doing this is to do it very slowly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not like the waiters, because I don't know how they do that. No, they do it really fast. They're professionals, though. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to tilt it so we have less bubbles. I'm going to just let it sit. Oh, good. Perfect. That's perfect. So we're going to fill it all okay. the way up to the top because... You don't want to drink cranberry juice straight. This is kind of almost like, like a cran, cran vodka, but with champagne. But with champagne. Which it's is great, nice, right? So it's kind of healthy. It's like sort of low in something. Carbs? Shook? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Ready? That is very nice. Is it? Yes. That's oh, very good. Good. Let me try that. <laughs> I would say it's refreshing. A bit of a zesty kick with that the limes. Good. It's nice. And it's not sugary, so if you no. are not a fan of the sweet drinks, this is the one for you. Absolutely. If you get the cranberry juice without, you know, the, the sugar cocktail stuff. part. Right. This right. is delicious here. It's really good. Well, well done. Hey! One down, one to go. Hey. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay. So, take your store-bought caramel, unless you are that girl who makes your own caramel, which I don't even do that because that's crazy. That sounds amazing. It's really hard. Um, I would warm it up some. I kind of tried to warm it up. You can put it in the microwave. That's totally fine. So I'm just going to pour the caramel out just 
a little bit. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. There it is, right? Oh god, that looks so good! Can I just have a spoon? I know, right? Do you, I mean, it's a very sharp knife. I'd ask you if you want the picky lick, but I feel like that would just... You know, I really walk on the wild side. <laughs> <laughs> I eat off knives. That was worth it. It's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Now, take your glass. Okay. And put it glass down. Just straight down like this? Yeah. <gasps> Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. This looks so good. This looks amazing. It looks professional. We are fancy. Uh oh. It's not good. <laughs> We're pros. Oh, oh my sorry. gosh, you guys. You're gonna so okay. impress your guests. Can you just take a look at that? Look at that. We, you Incredible. did that. And there's not even alcohol in it yet. Not and even. I'm already impressed. We're ready to go. Uh, this is a win-win situation. So good. And then, it's so fast, right? This is if you have one bottle of champagne, you're like, how do I make this stretch? Mm. We then take our honey crisp oh, apple nice. cider. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah. Beautiful. More? I feel like the same amount as last time, and that's good. Like sure. Yeah. Let's try. Why not? Let's see. Okay. That looks good. All right. All right. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Let's try. Okay. It. Yay! Here we go. Bottoms up. Here we go. <laughs> is that good? It's so good. Yay! <laughs> One bottle, two ways! This is great. I'm never drinking apple cider the <laughs> other way. Oh god, you gotta drink. As in like plain, boring, straight out of the bottle. No. This is how you want to do it, people. That is so it's good. so good. Oh my god, that doesn't even taste alcoholic. No. Ah, that's so good! If you want a good, happy Thanksgiving, mm. you're gonna want to make these. Mm, and the caramel, you could just like a bite of caramel, you literally get to chew. It's not like a bite, like it's a real bite. Mm. I love it. This is great. Let's make some more. Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna teach you the best way to slice a lime. I learned when I was in Thailand early this year and they've got it going on. Well, let me show you. So you're just gonna cut it lengthwise, okay? Quarter it. Now, the key is they use their knife. You're gonna go like this and so you can direct the juice wherever you want it to go because it just comes off the end of the knife. No splashes, no messes, boom. Fantastic and Thanksgiving. Just Thanks. to have one. Absolutely. You need both. That's why we made two. Well, actually, we made like four, but that's <laughs> right. no, we not a right. So, I had an idea. If you wanted to make these just a bit fancier, if you've got that kind of crowd coming over, mm -hmm. you could uh, take the caramel and drizzle it inside that's a great uh, idea. the glass first and coat it. And so, you have kind of a little bit of a design going on and then get more of the caramel flavor in the drink, but it tastes so good like this. Just depends on how much effort you want to put into it. And how much caramel you want to be eating. And how much caramel. So if you like caramel, then you should just add a whole lot. Or just dump the jar in it. Just do you. Just do you. Cheers. Cheers. To you. To you. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hmm. This is going to make your life just so happy. So happy. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. And thank you to my friend Alyssa for coming over to make cocktails and drinking with me. In time. And giving me lime, lime instruction. Oh, wow. Well, it's a really good tip. I do what I can. She does what she can. She's just full of good advice. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Bye.